Hey, there's been new here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to recreate this colorful wavy pattern tunnel that was done by Flat White Motion. I'm doing yet another master study of the series of Aiden that they did for Wu Tsingtao Fest. The scene we will be recreating will be this one. Let's analyze this scene at a slower speed. What do you notice? I observe three elements we need to create. The wavy pattern background, the transition element, and these graphic elements that scale to zero as it approach the center. This is a two-part tutorial, and this week we will focus on just the background. If we pay attention to the background, we realize two things. One, the background is made using the same technique of wave warp as seen in my previous tutorial. Two, the background is split into three segments. The top will always have their color sets reversed, and the bottom two are of different color combinations. I watched this several times, and I identified the color combination. Each color set cycles through 12 combinations before the sequence ends. We can review the different background using an RGB mat, which we will learn to create shortly. Each pair of color is reviewed by a color channel, as denoted above. The letter A means that no color channel is being used, and those in red means they need to have their color swap. When you lay everything out like this, a pattern emerges. The color channel sequence goes like this. Now that we understand how everything works, let's begin this tutorial. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm gonna go with a size of 1080 by 960 and we'll start off by creating a triangle. Let's go to a polygon too and then double click on it and let's press UU to open up our path option and then let's change the points to tree and let's right click on triangle, go to transform and fit to comb height. So this will snap, will fit it within the comb. And let's press S to bring out our scale, uncheck constraint proportion, and reduce the size to about 100%. So it fits within this, uh, this composition. Okay. And let's just rename this composition to uh, option J, which is a triangle. And let's create a new composition. And this is, let's call this our background, our base plate actually. So let's call this base plate. And I'm going to do full HD and uh, let's click OK. And what we want to do is bring in this triangle and we can create, uh, let's first of all, let's add in a fill. Let's add in a fill and let's use the, the colors we'll be using will be, we're going to use this uh, peach color. OK, and then we are going to rotate this triangle by 90 degree. And then we are going to use the align panel to align it to the left side. After applying our fill, let's add a wave warp effect and let's set our wave height to 50 and wave width to 250 and let's set the direction to negative no actually 180 degree and let's pin it to the top edge and let's play it and then the next thing we're going to do is to add a warp effect and we're just going to set it to vertical and we're going to set it to fish eye and we're going to bend at 30 and then also the vertical distortion of 30 Next, we're going to use a mirror effect so we can get it in symmetry. And we just need to take this 1080 divided by 2. And it can see as there's a perfect mirror. And right now, I only want to have half of it. So I'm going to use an effect called linear wipe. Let's set linear wipe. Oh, let's make sure you don't select the animation preset, but the one under transition. So click linear wipe and set it to 50%. I'm going to duplicate this, uh, this composition. And then after that, I am going to set the linear Y for the duplicate comb to be negative 90 degree. And then I'm going to go to my fill color and change it to something else. So I'm going to use this yellow color over here. And now we can create a background. Let's create a background and we are going to use the peach color. And then we're going to duplicate that background and then let's do that yellow color. We are going to add also a linear wipe and set it to 50 degree. And then what we want to do next is to actually set it, set it at 180 degree. So right now we got everything, we got our triangles, a wavy triangle setup and our background. We just need to mirror it uh, horizontally for, for the, uh, for the right hand side. So we can create a new, 
adjustment layer. Let's rename this adjustment layer to be a mirror. And we are going to use the mirror effect. And we can just take 1920 divided by two. So we have a perfect mirror. And next we want to go into transform and we're going to uncheck uniform scale and then change the negative uh, height to negative 100. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a mask. We're going to use a rectangle tool. And I'm just going to mask the right hand side of my cup and just make sure it, uh, it's in the perfect, perfectly in the center. Let's see, let me just adjust it right here like that. Cool. And, and let's see, let's, let's play it. So there you go. We have prepared our background. Let's actually trim it down to 25 frames so it will loop itself. Let's play it. See, it's looping perpetually. So the next thing we're gonna do is to change colors, change the, create a four other color combination and render them out. Next, we're gonna make our RGB mat. So let's create a new composition and do full HD. Let's call this our mat. And then let's actually change the duration to 100 frames. So first of all, we are going to go into our shape two and select ellipse two, double click on it, press UU so we can bring out the properties and we're gonna just change the size to 2200 and by 2200. So it's a perfect circle that occupies everything. And the first thing we're gonna do is, let's rename this shape layer A. And uh, we are going to change the scale. Let's press S to bring out the scale. And let's scale it from 100 to, uh, to uh, in one second, let's go back to zero. And let's also ease it. Let's give it an ease out, easy ease out. Let's play it. Very cool. And let's duplicate this. And this will be our, our RGB channel. Let's call this let's get a fill effect and we want to actually get rid of that uh, of that scale keyframe over here we're going to write an expression before that let's create a, a slider control on our a so let's hit slider control and let's call this offset and we're going to go into scale option click on the stopwatch we're going to type in offset is equals to let's go back to our a and make sure the effects Panel, uh, effects panel is active and just grab the offset slider from our layer 1a and semicolon and we're gonna just pick with the scale of layer uh, of uh, layer a and we're just gonna type value at time time minus offset uh, semicolon and instead of actually using the, the name of the layer we're gonna actually just do index minus one so it's gonna take the scale value from whatever's on top, whatever layers on top of, uh, you know, if it's layer two, it's gonna take one. If it's layer three, it's gonna take the scale from layer two. And last thing we need to do is just add in this uh, this function called frames to time. And let's copy this, uh, this string over here and paste it in. Let's uh, duplicate this and let's name this uh, RGB. So, right, so it's gonna be green. Let's open up the fill. And we can change it by inputting H, 120 into H. So that will give us a perfect green. Let's do the same thing for a blue channel. We're gonna go open up the fill color and just in, type in 240. So that'll be a perfect blue. And if you were to play it now, so originally we have this A just scaling in. Uh, let's actually you know, give it a white color. Let's give it a white color, right? And then, no, actually we need to make, uh, so this white color, we have to make, make it black. And then, so let's actually uncheck uh, transparency. So it's just gonna scale from 100, right? And we, not, we don't see our RGB shape layer. But if I go to my slider control and add in number seven, you see, you can see that every layer is scaling uh, accordingly. Without me, it has no keyframe. So this is very handy if I want the waves to be uh, this 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 uh, this shape layer to animate faster or slower. I can just play with this offset value. So we're gonna create the sequence, follow the sequence, uh, the color channel sequence uh, as in my analysis. So it's A R G B, and then A. Let's bring this down, and that's also actually we need actually no we we have to we let's duplicate B and rename it to A. 
and uh, because we want the expression and let's change the field to black okay so this is set one and uh, we need also no we need a duplicate g as well so this is set one and let's select everything let's select everything and just duplicate it Actually, let's, okay let's select everything duplicate it and again i gotta get rid of the the, the keyframe here and just copy the expression like that and there you go we have created an animated mat to review a pattern background once you made this mat let's create a new composition and let's call this uh let's call this com no actually let's call it c1 because we need we need to make multiple uh, multiple set of color combination so i create this com and i'm going to drop in the renders that i prepared already of my wavy background and also i'm dropping my mat okay so let's solo one of my one of my backgrounds so you can notice it's only 25 frames long we gotta extend it and we can do so by hitting time enable time remapping option click on the stopwatch and type in loop out and i can now oh, make sure it's in uppercase and with a parenthesis and you can extend the out point now and you'll play perpetually let's copy this time remap and paste it onto my other layers okay so let's also turn off the visibility for our mat and we're just going to rearrange uh, our our renders based on the color combination so i believe it was uh, the peach pink first and the purple yellow peach yellow pink purple and we need to also ch uh, change the, the orientation i think two of them are flipped so let's uncheck the scale and put it to negative 100 and let's copy it and do it for purple yellow and the next thing we want to do is to go to our effects and preset and let's select a set mat and put it on peach yellow and we're going to just select take mat from layer from the mat and set the source to effects and mass and we're going to set the color channel to red let's copy it and paste it onto purple yellow set the color channel to green and then let's do the same for peach pink and set it to blue let's extend our our renders over here and let's see, color code it so you guys can see it clearly and if I have to play it now you can see I have this wavy background that's being reviewed by our mat that we created also I realized I made a mistake for, for some reason it's not playing uh, as smooth as it's supposed to be because I think when I copy the time remap I copy the keyframes uh, I must have offset the keyframe when I copy it, so let's just shift it back and let's uh, extend it on our point. So I play it now, everything should be seamless. Now that we have one pattern done, we can easily duplicate its composition and make uh, two more versions for the bottom left and right. Now leave it up to you to follow the color combination uh, as I shown earlier, and you can render them out when you're done. And now for the final step, let's create a new composition. Let's call this master. And I click OK. And I'm just going to bring in uh, the, the, the renders, no, the different color combination that I have. So I have it here, C1, C2, C3. Let's put it in here. And then what I want to do is go to put C2 and C3 above. And then go select C2. And we are going to type in radio wipe. Let's double click on it and now set our transition to 75 and our start angle to be 270. So if we were to solo it, you can see it's at the bottom left hand corner. And then let's do it for C3 as well. Uh, let's actually copy this, this radio wipe and put it on C3. And let's change the start angle to be 180 degree. If I solo it, it'll be on the bottom right. And now when I play it, I have my wavy tunnel background. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we'll go through how I design the graphic elements in Illustrator and as well as writing an expression to auto scale these icons and symbol as it approaches the center. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe and like this video because it helps to get it out to more people. You can also follow me on Instagram at DesmondDo to see my latest work. And if you made something with this tutorial, Please tag me because I'd love to see what you came up with on your own. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.